Hey, folks! Welcome back to Lunar! Let's play! This is part 9. And last time, remember, we just assembled a team of Alex, Kyle, Jessica, Nash, and Mia. And last time, you seem to remember. Hello, boss, let me get out of your way. Last time you seem to remember, we couldn't go this way because you need Kyle's permission, but since he is in your party, you can do that now. So we have a chainmail. So we're going to equip that on Kyle because why not? These leather clothes on These leather clothes aren't going to do us justice. So first what we must do is let's do some morphing. Because before we actually go into the next area, we're going to need to clear out a few items. The only place around that still has lively music. Well, we don't need this cane. Or these leather clothes. Or this cool robe. But what we could go for. is a mirror shield. Don't know how well it is, but I'm going to use the... I'm going to use it. We don't need this wood shield. So let's sell this wood shield. This piddly ass wood shield for no apparent reason. No, for enough reason, there is reason. So, back to Nanza we go. So now that we have done our business, let's proceed. Believe it or not, yes, this is the Nanza Barrier. <laughs> Rather surprising, though. Anyway, no, oh, what are we facing? Demon wolves. <coughs> okay, demon wolves. We are facing demon wolves. Let's see if they like a little ice and thunder to go with their... I guess that won't work. Okay, fine. They have high resistance to magic. Doesn't matter. Alex, Alex gains a level. And everybody else is just getting points. 
points are always good. Now, what do we have? Lava Worm and Count Anchula. Yeah, no, um... Just saying. Let's see. Are they resistant to any kind of magics? Guess what? Nope, they're putting sleep. Oh, crap. Tis not good. Tis not good. I'm so gonna hurt you. In the worst no way possible. Yeah, they do have a, a very high resistance rate, even with even with staves, they don't, they do not work. So, as we are passing through the Nanza barrier, <sighs> we're facing demon wolves and lava worms. Yeah, a few things you all know, in the Japanese version, Kyle's name was Kitty. That's right, K-I-L-L-Y, Killy. Another thing you should know is, when we get around Eternal Blue, when we get around to Eternal Blue, there are gonna be some things that should have been stated within the within the remake of Lunar. So one of these things, oh, treasure. One of these things you should know is well for one Dragon Ball was the only in Lunar the Silver Star, not Silver Star Story. This was the only time we've ever heard of Dragon Bolt. Ever since. Ever since then, Dragon Ball has never been used. Again. Seriously, Dragon Ball has never been used again. Ever since they used the Eternal Blue spells for all the rest of the Lunar games. And I find that stupid. Why, why would you do that? Nash gains a level. Mia gains a level. And she learns Flame Bomb. I mean, I love the series, but the way they handled it over the years after Eternal Blue... Oh, just nerf. Why would you do that? Seriously. I mean, I'm not... I'm just saying. Why would you actually... Keep the same damn spell since Eternal Blue? And, I mean, it's like this. You're facing Galleon, or you're facing Zophar. Dragon Protect is not going to help. <laughs> uh, Kyle, say, could, you, could we work out yeah, this guy on my protection charge this time around? Sorry, if I make exceptions for you, I have to make them for everyone. You're trying to go without pain, but that carries dangers on its own. Hey boss, that guy over there is a lawyer. Don't let him cheat you. <laughs> he keeps asking for a discount as a protection fee. I'm not giving him any breaks. I only help good people. 
Okay, Kyle, so that means lawyers are bad people. Lawyers are, are bad people. Thanks for, um, dumping it down on us, Kyle. Yeah, man. Really. We appreciate that. So I guess that means that, um, Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth are the most are the most evil of people on the face of the planet Earth. Good to know, Kyle. Good to know. Oh, you bastards. May you rot. Cal gains level. And we're moving on. Throughout this very cave, which is very straightforward. I like that. I like it when caves get straightforward. You know, certain dungeons. I like it when they get really straightforward, you freaking bastards. <laughs> We can't do anything! Will you stop that, please? Will you... God! Good thing sleep doesn't last so long, but jeez, that hurts. Angela. Jessica gains level. So we're getting levels all around. Cool. Okay, still navigating through this dungeon. But really, after Eternal Blue, I think the spells just stayed like that. Secret lunch? Ew. You mean someone rapped on this? Oh man, that's nasty. Fight, damn it. Enough with the sleep already. God damn. Something, something, something! God damn. Oh, Nash. Ouch. Ouch! Fucking bastards!
So 103 points for everybody, except for Nash, who just got his ass handed to him. Wonderful. That's just wrong. Future Lunch, that's just nasty, man. Why do I feel like I want to dump that shit right now? Lava worms are okay. I can deal with lava worms. I just not going to deal with no count anchovies. I'm sorry. I mean, no disrespect to the series. I love the series. The, the series to me is the heart and soul of why I decided to become a writer. Seriously. I mean, it's because of this game that I just wanted to become a writer. Nash finally gains a level! Oh, that goes to future punch. Uh, moving on. Going upwards. Oh, Kyle, hey, thanks to you, my daughter's well again. Here, best thing to happen to Nazi in a long time. The things that could happen right now. Yeah. These little updates that keep beating that freaking K is beating. Okay. Will you stop doing that, please. So it's, it's right around this time of night that, you know, um, I would get updates coming in. Because of course I do, I do these recordings at night. And the uploads are like whenever I feel like I want to do the uploads. But I'm doing them weekly now. So it's like if I do four to five episodes a week and just post them on Saturday night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or Friday or Friday night, early Saturday morning. It's progress. Alex gains level again. Nobody else. Uh huh. You keep saying that, no. But really, like I said, my, that's my only concern about the series. Why keep the old spells from Eternal Blue? But. You'd leave one spell out. You'd leave one spell out from Lunar. Which was Dragon Bolt. The original white dragon spell. I'm not knocking it, but let's just say this. I make let's just say I make another lunar game, right? Let's say I'm on the staff to make another lunar game. And Kyle Gains level. What I do is, if I say, okay, we should remake the story, we should we should do another remake of Eternal Blue. This is what we should do. So you realize we've been we've been putting in white white dragon protect in there, and all it does was for Silver Star story, all it did was protect you once, and that was it. That was shitty. 
I'm sorry, but as a, if it was as a really, I'd have White Dragon to be like invincible. I said invincibility. Screw that. I want invincibility. Like at least five, three to five turns, depending on how well the spell lasts. And on top of that, well, I'd say nothing wrong with that. Just I mean, that's what I say. There's nothing wrong with that. But please. So let's remember the original, okay? Mia gains level. She learned Suckletron. Whatever that is. And yes, I have not tried Psychotron. Okay, Psychotron is a pretty major attack, so I won't use it. Now see, that this is the thing that I prefer. I prefer my character getting all sorts of different spells instead of just sticking with the same skills and spells over and over and over again. I mean, to me, it just makes sense. I mean, of course you notice the original has all these different spells that you use. Aside from the dragon spells that you get, you have a whole different array of spells, and I like that. Jessica gains level, and she learns Fusion Litany. Nash gains level. Okay, this is progress. This is definitely progress I like. Progress that people are actually gaining levels in one dungeon. I mean, it works. So as you can see, we are in the third level of the Nuns of Barrier. Everybody's HP is on a good status. Nothing too threatening. And of course, We're gaining levels in the process. Of advancing. Moving on. Of course, Kyle does not have any any magic spells, and this is why I never understood. And this is why I never understood this. If Kyle is is that of a warrior, why would he need spells? Skills, perhaps, but why spells? So we get a calm herb in this chest right here. We're going back around and basically up this way and around. Around people, around. There you go. Going this way. Really? Seven?
Lava worms. <laughs> Lava worms, you say? One, two, three, four. And look how fast they will fall. And everybody gets 85 points. And we are going through here. Hello. Whoa, are you really Kyle's Nanza? I want to be just like you when I grow up. Oh, Kyle, I just wanted to thank you for the free extra protection. My son and I really appreciate your kindness. I'm not saying that Lunar wasn't a terrible series. I'm always saying stop milking the same spells. If you're going with White Dragon, think about it. I would want an attack spell for white for white dragon. Red dragon would be an attack spell. Or if it was like this, I'd say I'd say white a white dragon attack spell, a red dragon boost spell, a blue dragon defense spell or healing spell, a full heal or rather invulnerability. And a black dragon, a kill all spell. But apparently, in the original, in which I'm playing right now, you're gonna see the original spells as they are. You've already seen Dragon Bolt. So, we're gonna go after the next spell. Well, the next dragon, which is the red dragon. This music is so epic. And that volcano you see on your right there on screen that you see in the south, that's where we're going to next. Rest, please. Oh, you guys again, Wyverns. Not Wyverns, Wyverns. gains level. Nash gains level. And more progress is made. You are Deaf Mutts and Grollies. Let's see how you do with Thunder Thumper. And a flame bomb. <laughs> that works. Paralysis. Thank you, Nash. Thank you. That's what Thunder Fumper does. It's a paralysis spell.
That was right on time. Alex gains a level. Jessica gains a level. Emmy gains a level. Wonderful. So you're probably wondering where exactly am I going? Right now, it's just grinding, so therefore, I can't tell you where the hell we're going. So slowly, Kyle is gaining some magic power. And these are his skills, Sprint and Fast Cut. But really, does he need any? It's like, well, my best example would be Ronfar. Except that Ronfar just gambles. I haven't seen Kyle gamble, so therefore, I guess that would count him out, but still, he's somewhat of a laser bastard. So, we're going over here to this next town over which happens to be maybe reason let's see how about thunder wave and more psych uh, psychotron I, I can't use psychotron yet look at that flame bomb Thunder and some flames and thank you, Mia. Thank you. That will do. I don't know about you, but claws work. Whereas flails, I don't know. I know claws work. Yep, this is Reza. Hey Alex, the major stole the white dragon wings after him! Uh, th that's one of my men! What's he doing over here? Thanks for sharing. Right now, we better get after him! This is Reza. The Den of Thieves. Outsider bad mouths us. But we're actually good people in this town. Okay, we're a little bad. And we're light fingered. But hey, everyone has their flaws. True. Okay, we're a little rude. And we're light fingered. Hey, that makes y'all a den of thieves. How, how can there be good people? Oh, wait a minute. So Reza is on our. Is on our map. Well, actually, it's on our teleport list, so now we can go to and fro anytime we wish. Welcome to the welcome to the weapon shop. We have good stuff uh, gathered from all over, just like California. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, there's a plethora of weapons we can actually get. Short sword, which I don't need. I don't need an axe. Mace, perhaps. A saber? No. A long sword? No. I already have one. A scimitar? Perhaps. Crossbows? Or a bow? I can go for a crossbow, but I don't want to. Okay, armory. What do you have in the armory? Welcome to the Reza Armor Works. What can I do for you today? 
Here you can get a good mass amount of weapons. You can get a cool robe, magic robe, leather armor, chainmail, which I already have, helmet, a chain helmet, iron gauntlet, and an iron shield. We want an iron shield. And she needs a bracelet. Two iron gauntlets. A chain helmet. An iron shield. Please call again. Please call again? Okay, so this is what we have. We have two chain helmets. I need an iron gauntlet. Kyle, you need something more than just that. An iron gauntlet will do you some good as well as... What? Oh, no, you don't need an iron shield. You do, however. Yeah, I guess I don't need that. Okay. Oh, let's see. Um, there. I don't need that. This you can take. This. This. And this I don't need. to me. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving so soon. Yes, I know. But trust me, we can actually we can actually get some more silver in this area because they have good weapons here. of that thing, we are here. Oh, it's you! How did you track me down? I swear this is an honest business. Sure. No more stealing jewels from me. Take a look around and see for yourself. And I wish the best of luck to your friend Ramus. What? You didn't know? He's running a very successful business in my old shop in Maria. No, really? Really awful. Oh, oh, oh. Seems to conduct an honest business. Mm -hmm. Bullshit, I know. We've beaten his ass up before, you know. Me and Fatty Ding Dong, I mean, Ramus. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Ramus. What he doesn't excel in. What he doesn't excel in magic, he excels in money. Mike, it's been a long time. How you been, man? Alex, are you following me? <laughs> no, why would I want to follow you? Say, Alex, you came from Arabia, didn't you? All the rumors that Galleon is, is the Magic Emperor true? Can't believe it, but if you can offer any details, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. 
I see. So the rumors are true. Galleon. Hmm. Listen up, Alex. If you want to have a chance against Galleon, you need to be much stronger than you are now. But strength isn't everything. The important thing is how you use the power you've got. Never forget that. Hey guys! Hey you guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> you look like someone killed your favorite dog. Seriously? Have a drink on me. Oh, uh, you're too young for that, aren't you? Well, how about some chow? If I like, if I like, to spill your guts, I've been told I, I listen real good. No, we're looking for the guy who stole our shit. Have you seen him? So I, haven't, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you friends with Grandpa's? My name's Lily. My Grandpa worries about me, so I never get to, never get to go out and have fun. I've been practicing my singing. Want to hear it? Sure. Everyone says that I'm the next Chutney Dallas. I sing from my heart. This staircase leads to the Thieves' Bazaar. You can't get in unless you're a member of the Thieves' Guild. Now, Scram, go on, get out of here. I don't want any trouble. Yeah, so what we need is the, the, we need the crest. Cards. Yeah, cards. Let's do that. Once again, blackjack. Hit me. Stan. Hit me. Stan. Uh, hit me. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you get to play Blackjack twice, which I don't think the remake has ever had any, anything other than that. And that's why the original is so m much more memorable than the remakes. Because really, um... You really can't get... You really can't get more original than that. I mean, it's a town of thieves. Gambling should be involved. So anyway, let's see. We're supposed to get the thieves' crest. Mike, do you have any help for us? Alex, you're going to look for the dragon's armor to become a dragon master, right? You should ask the old man that lives in Idik, who collects strange things. He said he knew how to get to the Red Dragon's Cave. You want to know if a strange guy came running through here? Well, actually, yes, someone came flying through here and ran up the stairs. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but the guy behind the counter over there... It's actually the leader of Thieves' Guild. No, really. Really? Oh, so you want to be a member of the Thieves' Guild, huh? Yeah. You know, I really don't recommend this as a way of life. So I give you this, test. If you can open the chest over there in the corner, that red chest, I'll let you join the guild. Simple as that. 
So we open. So we let our man, our hefty brigand, Kyle of Nansa, do to do. Step aside, boy. This calls. This kind of work calls for a man. <laughs> Almost got it. I guess you're right, Kyle. This is a job for a man. Ouch! <laughs> God damn. I hope we can find one to help us. Just like no, a woman ramping on me. Hey, it opens. Looks like there's a crest inside. You have to get the thieves crest, so we got one. Good job, lad. You're now a full member of the thieves guild. You now have full authority to roam the streets with the guild's backing. Just remember our first rule: do not prey on the weak or make women cry. So now that we have done so, why you kids join the thieves, the, the thieves guild? I'd like to see what kind of parents you got. If you're my kids, I take you over my name and gloss your butt with leather. Gloss your butt with leather. Oh God, that's so bad. Even for me, that's bad. But as we are going through these U-turns. We are down here. And, ahem. <clears throat> ha! There you are, just what do you think you're doing? Like, Kyle, I didn't see you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah! what, what, where am I? The last thing I remember was a uh, strange woman coming up to me. And I think her name was Zenobia or something. That's all I remember. She must have put a spell on you, but why would she want those? Anyway, give them back and get back to Nanza. So we get our dragon wings back. Here you go, Alex. Sorry for all the trouble. He's not usually like that. Oh, I know what happened. He got a little puff puff. That's what happened. He got a little puff puff and he got a little excited and, you know, after that... He got himself hypnotized. So we get a talking nut, whatever that is. Let's see what kind of goodies they have here in the Thieves Guild. What's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. How can I help you? That does not make no sense. Well, we can get some tired clothes, some soap. Me is by mine, which I don't see the point in that. A mystery potion and a music box. Seriously, shit. That's all there is. Just shit. Here we have what? Welcome to the infinite these bizarre <laughs> clearing house of sorts. We have cheap shit. We have peasant clothes, heavy clothes, leather clothes, gold rings, diamond rings, cascade rings, snake rings, and a rain cloud. All of those for your perusal. But you know what? They're shit. We got many a new rare thing. Come on, see, okay? And you have leather armor, carapace armor, chainmail, iron armor. Ooh, iron armor. Iron helmet. Ooh, iron helmet. Iron shield. Ooh, iron shield. And iron gauntlet. Ooh, iron gauntlet. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that, that's some good juju there. But first, we need to get more. We need to get more happenings. So now that we are members of the Thieves Guild, 
we can come and go as we please. And of course, Reza is on our our teleport list, so we don't really need to be here again. Now we need to go to Idiok. But um, first we have some business to attend to with these idiots in our midst. So you're probably wondering exactly what good is this? To be honest, no good can ever come from this game. Actually, that's not true. Plenty of good can come from this game. Like I said, plenty of good can come from this game. This game has a certain effect on people. And, of course, this is one of those games that made the Sega CD that much more memorable. When Sega CD was very popular back in the early 90s, I remember I owned most of the working designs games. I had Lunar, Eternal Blue, Popful Mill, Vi, and um, gosh, I think that was it. But I think for me, I just wanted Lunar. I fell in love with Lunar. Lunar was indeed my game. And not because, you know, it's, it, it was a good series. It's just, for me, Lunar claimed my heart. Lunar has claimed my heart. It's one of those games that just say, you know what? This game can stand out. It can stand out against Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy. And even Mario RPG. I kid you not. This game can actually stand out against the most prolific of RPGs. that Square has ever made, even to this day, it stands out against some um, ease. Really, it stands out against ease. Nash gains level, he learns Thunder Fang. Thunder Fang. Damn lisp. Thunder Fang, that's right. The spring of the thing uh, if you if you enter its soothing waters you can purify your soul do you want to you don't have any soap so you have to get some soap naughty bits naughty bits do we want naughty bits that depends do we want naughty bits Even to this very day, people who have heard heard of Lunar will say will say that they wanted to play Lunar, but they never had the chance to. That's why I say, if you still have a Sega CD around, or even better, if you have a Genesis. CDX around and you have Lunar and that son of a bitch still plays go play it seriously go play it 
it will change your life. I kid you not, the game will change your life. And it's already changed my life. For the better. Because, really... True story. My girlfriend has... 10 plus years. I actually turned her on to this series. When I had my Sega CD, and I played this game, and I've beaten this game. See, I had issues with my Sega CD because there was one track on the game that just basically stopped. And I never got to finish the game because of that one reason. It just stopped. So, yes. This town right here, this is Myriad. You might as well go to Myriad. You want to know what's so wrong with this? Check this out. Welcome to Myriad! We're all family here. So I told her I'd give you the neighbor to warn about that bridge over yonder. She's rotten, but be careful though. Yeah. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. You, you, you need to hear it. Why does that make me think about Medea all of a sudden? Medea's family reunion. Except that people here actually talk like this, because they don't know when they bait her. What kind of better armor you have? Ooh, very nice. Iron armor for 5,000. Steel armor. Ooh, steel armor. Nice. Steel helmets. Hmm. Iron gauntlets. Hmm. Steel shield. Stronger than iron. Wonderful. Okay. So, the thing is, we're here in Myriad. Even though they're both inventors, Might and Taven are really different. Taven makes his inventions for evil uses, but Mike works for men's good. Cause we're all special. That thing's all on the other side of the river, all his inventions have been... Trapped by the even there taping. These are my best, my best southern accents. Y'all. They say that my, my, ex, <laughs> they take it from a forever. They say that Zenobia is ruled by that magic emperor. I bet she is. Taping's helping magic emperor do, too, I hear. I sell for a buck fifty. You looking for directions to Dame and Spy? Hmm. There's a guy that's been there, but he's not here right now. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Ricochet. That dancer, that there dancer is easy on the eyes, but you can't sing and dance with beans. <laughs> Yeah, um, really, is it that bad? You know, I heard that girls, that they sing real good, are being cute now. I wonder why I'm still here. Wanna hear me sing? Sure. Okay, listen up, this, this song's gonna blow you away.
sorry, but the dog has started howling. Uh, hmm, I hire a dancer like other bars, but I don't make no money. I wonder why that is. Hmm. <sighs> Could it possibly be that she can't sing worth shit? Less and less travelers are coming here these days. I, the Magic Emperor it has them scared, I think. You know what would be funny? But a guy was hitting on Alex and he says, Alex, you looking pretty good, boy. Stop it. I want you to squeal like a pig. No! This town's so boring. Nothing to do but fish all day long. Wish something would happen. You want something to happen? Do you really want something to happen? I'll tell you what's gonna happen. I'll tell you what's gonna happen right now. What we is gonna do is we gonna do this. We is gonna cross that bridge. Like so. So the bridge doesn't work, so what? I don't really care. Was washed up in different parts of town. Let's go look for them. Yeah, let's go find them. And exactly, let's go find them. No. Can you fix this bridge, sir? Eh, the bridge done broke. One time as you cause that to happen. Oh, never mind. Point is, it's broke now. I fix it tomorrow. Okay. Remember, I'm the best carpenter in town. Best carpenter in town. Mm-hmm. So we have Mia over here. Let's see, we have Jessica over here. We have Kyle right here. And we have, where's Nash? Where's Chicken Nash? Nash is right here, okay. So we go with the possible, obvious one, Nash. Hey Alex, what took you so long? You know that was pretty dumb to try to cross that rotted bridge. Shut up, Nash. Well, Mr. JD, I think you fell out to drink too. What's your excuse? I was just, I was just trying not to make waves. Alice is supposed to be the leader here. When Ash joins us. You looking pretty nice. Yo, oh, 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 there, Alex. I got tired of waiting. You smell like booze. Oh, I <laughs> uh, my pesky little buddy. It was just a <laughs> clown. <laughs> I have one, two sips from three to four different glasses. <laughs> oh, God. Alex, call these guys are complete idiots. They've been making passes at me this whole time. Hey, I thought that was my job. Why don't I kick their backward? Cal, how insensitive can you be? This was scary for me. Is that so wrong to say you want to kick their asses? Uh, Alex, how mean these slobs are picking on me. Ah, uh, teach these pigs a thing or two. How about a nice thunder blast? Oh man, she's over now. Just let them be. 
me to get going. So, um, yeah, um, if there ain't, ain't purred girls yet, you know, I'm ready to most of them. Welcome to Marriott, the town of goddamn incense. Hey there, if I go on a quiz with girls like me too? No. Why? Because she ain't got no chance. It's like most of the people online, it, it can't, when, when they're on, when you're on a certain website, it's like, oh, now you can't spell for beans? Okay. Calls for alarm, people. Calls for alarm. So trust me, I, as much as I've, as much as I've gone on certain websites, And I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? If you can't spell worth a damn, it's like, please, please talk to me like you've got any sense. Please, you know, do me a favor, you know? Like, if you can't spell for F O R and you can't say cute and say hi, QT, like, you know, QT, cutie, I'm like, please, don't bug me. get points around and before we continue to look for Eric. Let's see how well my memory is. Anyway, moving on. Yes, we're back into where we were before. some damnable good armor for the area over. Cal gains level. Wonderful. Okay, so... It's definitely not over here. Could I possibly be going somewhere that I'm not supposed to be going? Or... No, I can't be lost. 
I mean, like I said, I've been away from this game for so long, but I couldn't be that far off from this game. Back away from my woman, bitch. That's why I tell anybody who's trying to make a pass on my girl. Back away from the woman. Jessica gains level. She learns Cascade Lenny. The heck? Oh, that's a turtle. Remember that turtle, because we'll be coming back to that turtle very much later on. Oh, how cute. You want to trade blows with us. need to be here. Seriously. Get out of there, guys. Get out of there. No. Now. Between now and the next two minutes. that they are that mages are very bad at running you know what let's go back to um Yeah, let's go back to, uh... Reza. Let's see if we can get some proper direction about where Iliok is. So yeah, this is progress, ladies and gentlemen. Progress with a capital P. I mean, wow, just look at this place. It's all run down. But people still come here. Why is that? Because people like places like these. Yeah, I look at this and I start thinking, why does this remind me of California? Oh uh, no, where am I supposed to be going? Where am I supposed to be going? Not here. No, it's down here. Nope. 
Here it is. You say Iliac, man. At the foot of the volcano, there is an entrance to the Red Dragon's cave. Ox, why not go to the old man in Iliac who knows the way? Well, where the hell is Iliac? Nobody didn't say anything about Iliac. Zenobia really wants the Magic Emperor's mighty, the Magic Emperor's mighty staff. <laughs> well, gosh, you say Iliac. That's where we should go to next. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a break here. And next part, which is part 10. We're going to Iliac! So stay tuned. More Lunar after this. <laughs> 